The coronavirus pandemic had threatened to wipe out the entire cricket season, but at long last, the army made their way onto the pitch, eager to play. The first fixture in this COVID-condensed summer was a T20 match against Oxford University. Army batsman Baron Barley wasted little time dispatching the ball to the boundary. Barley was a man on a mission. He plundered plenty of early runs from the students' bowling attack. Teammate Liam Fletcher soon joined in and the Army score motored along. Engrossed in the game, it's easy to forget the major upheavals cricket has faced prior to its return. Then a reminder, every five overs, players are required to sanitise their hands. Just one of the new rules permitting the sport to resume. A lot of work has been done by the administrators and those behind the scenes to allow cricket to return within the army. It mirrors the efforts of the England and Wales Cricket Board. Quite rightly, the army is concerned about the safety of its personnel and COVID's had a big impact on sport throughout the army. There's only a few sports that have been authorised to play and uh, we're very pleased that cricket has managed to get uh, some cricket in at least this season. So we followed their route map to restoring cricket. But obviously within the army, there are other considerations as well. So the army's had to look at what the ECB have done and then impose their own army for self-protection and other measures to ensure that our personnel are as safe as possible. But clearly we've benefited from looking at the ECB lessons and following their advice in order that we can get our guys out playing today and hopefully for the rest of the summer in as safe a manner as possible. Back to the contest and two quick army wickets rejuvenated the student bowlers. First, Fletcher was out LBW for 26 with the army 72 for 1. Fletcher was on his way and Oxford engaged in the now customary elbow style high five. Just a few balls later, Owen Marshall claimed his second wicket as Barley was dismissed for 41. The military men's innings looked to be stalling before Tom Lester and Emerson Wood gave it some impetus. Lester was the last army man out, caught by Chris Searle, but not before he'd contributed a valuable 20 with the bat. By the end of their innings, the army had set the students a target of 134 for victory. Oxford struggled with their reply. The spin of army skipper Jonathan Boynton put the batsman in bother. Tade Carmichael taking the catch. In an innings that never really got going, the visitors lost wickets at regular intervals. Fletcher clinging on to help dismiss Rob White from Ross Dearden's bowling. <laughs> Several of the forces side had assisted the NHS in the fight against COVID-19. The chance to play cricket was a welcome opportunity to focus on something different. We all know it's been a very hard year and for him to get back onto the, for the cricket field and going away from that stress of being help in the NHS. So the lads are just thrilled to be back playing cricket and moving forward to next season. We're not going to be rusty going into next season, at least we've had a few games and yeah, it's been, it's been good. By the end of the match, the Army claimed victory by 29 runs. It was a winning return to cricket in a summer quite unlike any other. Julian Evans, Forces News, Aldershot.